Hey Aries, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a speed read for your sign today. This is a speed read for love for Valentine's Day. This is not a normal reading. This will not be deep in any way whatsoever. So put your seat belts on, strap in, sit down, and let's do this. I want to address the signs that we have on the board already. We have Taurus with the Empress. We have Pisces with the High Priestess. We have Leo with the Sun. Aries with the Emperor, Sagittarius with Temperance, and the world card being um, Earth energy in general. We have Cancer with the Chariot right there. We have Pisces and or Cancer with the Moon card, depending on your philosophy. We have uh, Aries and Scorpionic energy with the Tower. We have uh, Virgo energy with the Hermit. Cancer energy with the chariot. So, so far, Cancer is the is the most uh, prevalent energy on the board. We have Taurus again with the Empress. The Wheel of Fortune, all four fixed signs. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And we have Aquarius with the Star card. So we have, we have a lot of different energies on the board right here. So... If any of those fit into your life, by all means, please put them there. Okay, let's start this speed read right here. We open this reading with the Empress. You're either dealing with a Taurus or you are coming into this reading um, seeking to build abundance in your life. Seeking to build abundance in your life in regards to a love relationship with the Two of Cups. However, there is conflict going on, either inner conflict or outer conflict, but regardless, there is conflict going on. The High Priestess comes in and says, you're going to sit down with your intuition for a minute. You're going to apply some temperance to the situation, some patience and some balance and some moderation. The Sun card comes in and, that, and says that uh, in the, your sit down with your High Priestess, you begin to see things clearly. The Emperor comes in and says what you begin to see clearly is what you want to build the foundation of your life upon. Six of Swords says that you are going to transition with the World card into a new life cycle. Chariot card comes in and says that you have the willpower, the control, and the determination to take whatever action is necessary for you to achieve the Ten of Pentacles. You are planning. You're making a plan as to how you are going to approach this situation. The Nine of Pentacles comes in and tells me that you have a sense of self-sufficiency about the situation. Your insecurity has been put to rest because what you thought you did not see clearly, you are beginning to see clearly now. There is a tower moment in your life. This tower moment is a revelation and an awakening, which is directly related to your sit down with the high priestess, your sense of self-sufficiency, the let, letting go of your feelings of insecurity, and uh, the moon card where, where you're beginning to see things clearly now. This tower moment brings in the Ace of Pentacles. This brings in the manifestation of a prosperous new opportunity in your life. And prosperity, remember, can come from anything that makes us feel whole and complete on the inside. This revelation and an awakening that you're having in your life about manifesting this new opportunity is directly related to the Four of Wands having celebration, harmony in your life, in your home, and in your marriage. Hermit card comes in and says that you're going to give it one last good think. You're going to do some soul searching and some introspection about achieving this Ten of Cups, this harmony, marriage, happiness, values alignment in your life, in your home, or in your marriage. Ten of Swords comes in and says there's an, an absolute end to you debating on how you should go about doing this. The chariot card comes in and says that you're going to move forward quickly in this situation. Three of Cups comes in and says that you have a sense of a celebration within yourself, that you have come to the decision to move forward in this situation. You're going to move forward with passion, 
and excitement and exuberance. You, you feel very, very good within yourself about this decision-making process that you've gone through here. King of Swords says you are about to execute. You're about to execute a decision in regards to either a Taurus or building abundance in your life. We have the Empress to the Empress. Five of Pentacles, again, you are, are letting go of the insecurities that you once had about this particular situation. Knight of Swords comes in and says that you are going to take forward some action-orientated communication. This communication that you are putting out is going to require action from the recipient. This communication is uh, all about the Wheel of Fortune, about starting a new life cycle with this person that you are, um, that you're a little confused about right now, or were a little confused about. This Wheel of Fortune says that this is a turning point. One life cycle is ending, a new life cycle is beginning. This is going to be a turning point in your destiny. You are going into this new life cycle as the Knight of Cups, as a knight in shining armor, charm, and romance. Ace of Wands says that you are going to initiate an inspired new beginning with your person. And the star card comes in and says, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life. There you go, Aries. That is your speed read for February 14th, 2019. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com. And if you liked this video, please like it, subscribe, and share. Namaste, my friends.